Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching the video. This is Mr. Connolly. I'm just going to go through the scripts question that I set you. So this is our R081 exam prep for iMedia. Okay, so the first thing you need to do was to read this brief. So below is a section from the client brief provided by Progressive Museums for the new life in Roman Britain. The Life in Roman Britain project is a travelling exhibit that will visit primary schools using a lorry and a bus. Each school, the lorry and bus will set up with big banners outside the doors, welcoming the school children in. The exhibit will include mannequins and staff dressed in a range of Roman costumes. Inside the back of the lorry, there will be two rooms. A Roman villa, stone-coloured room with plates of food, cushions and couches, sounds of talking and music. Roman barracks, wooden style building with a bed and weapon rack, including sounds and smells of battle. The bus will contain two floors with an interactive presentations and exhibits. The top floor presentation showing how life was in the Roman Empire, including sounds of everyday life. The bottom floor video and presentations about life in Rome with senators voting and include sounds of debate and people shouting over each other. The exhibit needs to start visiting schools in October, but needs to be tested before it starts. Visiting the schools will take a month. Each floor of the bus and room of the lorry will take two months to develop. We can only allocate a small team of people to develop in the exhibit, so each of the floors and rooms must be completed before the next one can be started. Okay, so... Whenever you have a question, it is important that you read the brief. There will all be a brief for every exam that you'll need to read and make sure you understand. So this is the question. It says, using the script in figure three, you need to identify the following. One location, one camera movement, one non-speaking character, and one user interaction. Okay, now once you've answered that, the next part of the question says, create a storyboard from the script in figure three for the interactive presentations that will be used on the buses and lorries. Marks will be awarded for content, layout, fitness for purpose, and scene information. Okay, so altogether it's worth 13 marks. Four marks for the first part, nine marks for the second part. So this is the script. Okay, so we've got X, front of a Roman villa. Okay, you should know what X stands for. Roman commander walks out of the front door towards the viewer. There's a close-up of the Roman commander. Commander Vespian. Welcome, young Britain. I am Commander Vespian, commander of the Roman garrison in Britannia. Then there's a pause. So you want to become a member of the Roman Empire. Good choice. Life is so much better in Rome. Come and let me teach you, my young friend, about life as a member of the Roman Empire. Commander Vespian turns and walks back to the villa. The camera flies behind. Int. Again, you should know what it means. Large room with cushions on the floor and a couch. Commander Vespian sits on the couch. A servant pours wine into a goblet. Buttons appear on the screen so the user can choose what they want to look at and to make their decision. Voice over. Commander Vespian, your first decision is to choose what role you want to have in our great empire. Touch one of the buttons on the screen to choose one of the options. Buttons have images and text for a centurion, a gladiator, a senator, a priest, and a maiden of the gods. Okay, if you've not yet answered this question, pause the video now. Okay, and have a go. Remember, there's two parts to it. Okay, and then we're going to go through the answers. Now, just remember, when you create your storyboard, don't just have an image and a description. Think about what other parts you need to include in the storyboard as well. Okay, we've gone over it a lot in lesson. Okay, so... The first part, this this question here, question 5A, okay, it says, this is a low-level question which requires the candidate to read the script and pick out the required points. 
okay locations must refer to outside or inside as these are straight off the script and it's co a context-based paper do not accept close-up for camera movements as this is a camera shot and not a camera movement user is too vague user interaction must not include to a human act not just the button okay so you've got one mark for each of these so for location you could have outside front of the roman villa okay you could have for ext remember that stands for exterior large room with cushions int remember that stands for interior okay so you only got one if you said both you'd only get one mark remember that part one was only worth one mark okay one camera camera movement okay there was the camera fly behind okay one non-speaking character you had a servant and a young Briton and user interaction okay is where you click and touch on the button screen okay so that was the easy part that was part a the harder part of this question was creating the actual storyboard so the storyboard covers all ability levels and should reflect the script provided in the question paper. How the script is split up and the storyboard is designed is up to the candidate's interpretation. The ability to accurately draw is not assessed. That's very important. That Remember, you're not getting marked on your drawings. So if you get a storyboard question in the exam, don't spend hours and hours drawing the images. Okay, Draw stick men if you have to. Okay, it's the labels and the annotations that will get you the mark. All of the panels provided do not need to be used if the storyboard is effective in its construction. Candidates may include the camera movement and camera shot from the script, and places it in the bottom of Mark Band 2. Okay, so start over here, read this side. So, marks are awarded for the storyboard in the context of the Roman interactive presentation, considering the following points. So, the number of scenes. Scene content, scene numbers, timings, camera shots, so close up, mid long, okay, can be inferred from the drawing. Camera angles, so over the shoulder, low angle aerial, can be inferred from the drawing. Camera movement, so pan, tilt, zoom, or using a track and dolly. Lighting, types of direction, sound, dialogue, sound effects, ambient sound music. Could be locations, so indoor, other room, outdoor, technical direction, camera type, visual effects, so it could fade and hide, interactive features. The diagram should be viewed as a whole and then graded appropriately. Okay, max one level one storyboard if it's not from the script. So if it doesn't follow the script, the highest they can get is mark band one. Please refer to separate doors to view the script. Okay, so you've got the script. Uh, we, we looked at it on the last uh, slide. Okay, so for a level one, storyboard has basic structure, may not be clear, content may not be wholly appropriate, complete in context, there's no technical aspects covered, lack of detail in the information provided. Okay, so that's not three marks level one. Level two, structure of the storyboard is clear but may not be totally logical, content not fully relevant to the Roman interactive presentation. Okay, max two technical aspects covered. Remember, these are the technical aspects. Okay, must be consistent use for top of the mark band. Some required detail is missing, so they maybe they've not inquired, included everything that they need to off the script. Okay, so that's four to six marks level two. And then for level three, clear structure with logical progression, which can be easily followed. Content is relevant to the Roman interactive presentation. Three or more of the technical aspects have been covered. Must be consistent and appropriate use for the top of the mark band. Detail is clear and understandable. Remember, this is the key when you mark this question. Have you included these things? Okay. If all they've done is drawn a, a, a picture and a description, that's going to get you into mark band one. Okay, so remember it's these bits which get you the mark. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you've struggled with that at all, what I recommend you do is to watch the GCSE pod. And if you want to learn more, what you need to do is watch the online lesson on the team's task. See you next time. Goodbye.